Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we finally got through all the stone tablets that we've been trying to look at for a long time. We got the Zora armor in full now. But I'm actually going to switch off of it just for now. And we're going to start exploring again. And starting off, I think, we're going to start heading up north from over here. So, let's just go, I think, to the shrine. Uh, going to the shrine will be a good start point to start from. So let's do that. Okay, well, now that we're here, path is over there, so I should actually have kept my armor on so I could swim across this faster. Of course, the one time that I could have used it, is the one time that I take it off. So let's just do that, and the current's also helping us, so let's actually go with the current and help that, make that help us go over this way faster. Oh my goodness, stamina. Just swim normally. There's no current going against me. This is fine. Yep, there we go. And now, let's go back. I like the way that this looks, so I'm just going to stick with this for now. Let's head up this way, see what we can find. Let's go to this marker that I've placed down. We can also see there's a tower over there. Getting fairly close to it now. Bit of an odd shaped top though, so. But yeah. Seems very empty at the moment. I was expecting to see a lot more enemies since that's usually what happens. Oh, oh, no, don't fly away. Can I sneak while doing this? Because that'd be great. we we'll just get nice and close and then bring it out and... Oh, please. I don't think it worked. Please. Please. Yeah, warm Donna. Let me just grab that. This dragonfly has a special origin. Oh, no, organ that can... Uh, causes it to sweat profusely. Cook it with monster parts for an elixir that will raise your cold cord temperature so that you can resist the cold. Okay, very cool. Grab that restless cricket as well, and let's keep going. It'd be good to have a horse right now, but last time we saw our horse, it was uh, in a bit of trouble, to say the least. Just a little bit of trouble. It only partly fell off a bridge. It's still on the bridge, it's just not on the part of the bridge that it's supposed to be on. Anyway, there's a person over here and looks like they have a little camp over there. I bet he's slacking off. Yeah. Hey man, what's that? You're dying for some shield surfing action, that's it. Shield what now? <laughs> Chill out, my man. You don't need to worry about the details. My best bud is standing over there, beneath that tree. He can show you the ropes. So you're gonna go up there or not, my man? Totally. Mm. Epic! That's the spirit. After all, shields were made to be surfed on. Hey man, nice of you to stop by. Sorry about Finn's, uh, strong arming. Ya yeah, into coming up here. Heh. <laughs> it's cause we're members of the shield surfing gang. The shield breakers. Finn and me are the only two members though. You just gotta, um, uh, live the, the experience. The lifestyle, if you will. Yeah. Shields were made to be surfed on. Oh, and if you don't have your own shield, you've got s some lying around here so you can Buy if you wanna. If people don't start buying them soon, this gang will go out of business. I hope I can make a sale. Let me just quickly climb this tree because there are a lot of bigger trees that are just like thicker around the end. Oh my goodness. Oh, and this is a new type of car I don't think we've seen before. You stand on the platform. Oh, I see. I, I see exactly what I'm supposed to do. And it's not this. 
So basically, that ring down there is what we need to get to. Before the ring disappears though, which is shown by the things slowly getting smaller. So, it seems that we're going to have to do some shield surfing to get to that quickly enough. So, ah, stamina. But yeah, if we get to it in time, we'll get a Korok from this, so there's going to be lots of times like this. But it's going to be different each time with how it's wanting me to actually get it. Some of the, sometimes it'll be gliding, sometimes it'll be just whatever works, basically. So. Can I actually... How much space do I have for shields? No, no, it's just... That's fine. If I'm not sh uh, shield surfing on snow, then it's gonna... My shield's gonna break anyway, so. Let's just activate that, and then... Don't do that, please. Oh, please. Jump, and then press A. Let's shield surf down to the ring as quickly as possible. This is definitely gonna break my shields. Possibly? Maybe. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, 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 please. Thank you. Made it in time. So there we go. Now, what part of the map am I on? This is still... This one, okay. Interesting. We're still in the Laneiru area. There's also another one that I saw over here for a second. Where does it go? Where did it go? Did I see it over there? Did I see it over here? Where am I? Where is it? Am I crazy? Oh, no, there it is. Let me examine this, please. No. There we go. Let's mark that off our map as well. Number 45, I believe. Hopefully I'm correct in that. I want the cookie. I don't think they have anything else to say about me doing their shield surfing because I don't think that was an actual quest, so... I think we're alright. Yeah. So anyway, I guess I can continue on the path then, if I can find it. Somewhere over here. Oh, hello. Let me get out a proper weapon for this. Doesn't need to be a good one. Just need to be able to take care of it. I've also taken a picture of you already, so that's good. So there's Alpha's arm. I think there was a new thing over here, though. Strengthen Liz elbow. A Liz elbow with a grip reinforced by metal. The body is made from the branches of a flexible tree that grows near water, which offers some serious destructive power. Okay. Well, with that done, I think I'm going to continue on the path into a new area we haven't explored before and we don't have the map for. Well, that's fine. It's a good starting point. You can see some rocky area over there, which looks a lot very mossy as well, which I think is cool. So, it might just be the lighting, but anyway, let's just keep going down this way. See what we can find. I don't usually go along the paths, but I've been wanting to for this, just to simplify things a little bit. You can basically go wherever you want at any t point in time. Is that another road? I have to follow that at some point. Maybe. Oh, and there's a shrine right there. I think that's what the marker is for, but there's also a stable right there, so... Oh, hello. Did my weapon break? Apparently. Well, oh my goodness. Arr. Oh, that didn't return. Arr. Burn you, which makes you into a fire chew. Or red chew. A jiggly substance that normally comes from a fire choo choo. It constantly, consistently gives off heat. If struck, it will explode in a ball of flame. So that's interesting. But yeah, if we attack a regular chew like this with a element like fire, it will become a fire one and give us fire stuff. Oh my goodness, I'm sending fire to everything. I didn't need a tree branch. But that's fine. I'm assuming I forgot this already. Yep. Oh, there's a 
Goron over here. Hey there, I'm Bolin, Goron City's ambassador of tourism. Hyrule Castle on Death Mountain. The roads around here can get pretty dangerous for tra travelers. Okay, cool. Also, I wanted to see if this is what I was actually heading towards. It is, I think. How did I get it that close without actually getting it on top of it? I don't know. But anyway, if we get close to the stable, we can actually go around the edge so we don't have to swim, which is probably a good plan. I think there's also another stable that I've passed along the way that I could go back and get, but I think we're good for now. Woodland Stable. Let's go over this way to get to that shrine. Oh, and there's a thing here. What are you? Soldier Spear. I've already got one of those before. Oh, and some keys as well. I wonder if... I don't think hitting these with fire will actually turn them into fire keys, though. Yeah. But anyway, we've made it to the shrine, so let's go ahead and do it. Mirror Shaz Shrine. Tempered Power. Now, let's... Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Am I crazy? No, I'm not. This is going to end badly. Okay, so, we have this orb here, and the goal is to get it in the... the hole over that way. So, to do that, we have to stasis it, and then hit it just the right amount to get it in the hole without going too far. Also, we have to actually get it there in the first place. If we mess up, we can hit this switch, and it'll spawn a new orb for us. So I'm going to try and line up with this. We can, we can target it, which helps uh, center it, I'm pretty sure. So, let's hit that quite a bit. Can I go all out, please? Please don't go too far as well. Of course it went too far. I don't like this shrine, if you couldn't tell. I'm trying to get it to not go too far and still get it to do what it needs to do is really annoying. Especially because you really need sledgehammers to do this. And if you don't have enough sledgehammers, it's gonna end badly. What I'd recommend though is actually shooting or using bombs on this switch to make it activate without breaking uh, your sledgehammer. Okay, let me line up with this as much as I can. Let's see how I can go with this this time. Okay, just a little bit more. More centered, please. That's not enough. Oh, maybe it is. <gasps> please, please, thank you. Oh my goodness. And it only gets more ridiculous from there. Oh my goodness, okay. Well. Let's try hitting this block into that wall slash table thing. Platform thing. There we go. That brings that down for us. And we can keep going up. Having all the, sh the chests in this shrine as well, which is the main problem with this one, I think. Because here's the end, but there's also this path, this dreaded path for the second half of the shrine. We have a chest here, which probably is another sledgehammer, but to get the last chest, we actually have to get the orb into this hole. I have not done this before. I've never been able to get this to work before. I have no idea what I need to do. It's just... I don't even know. Let's try to line this up somewhat well. 
Okay, this seems, well, somewhat good. I have no idea how well, how well lined up this is. But now I just need to hit this as well as I can. Maybe three, four times? Well, that didn't work at all. You also might have to use Crayonis. Possibly. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my goodness. That pillar there, though. I do not like this shrine. Oh my goodness, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? Nope, it's gonna have to be five. Probably with this angle though, if I can manage to get this angle back. Because the same angle is really crucial. One, two, three, four, five. Please, 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 please. But then how? But then how? But, but then, but, the uh, oh. Oh, ha, ha. Can you tell why I don't like this shrine? Can you tell why? It might also need us to be using, um, Crayonis to put things in the water, but I just don't know. I just don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my goodness. Do my sledgehammer break? No, but it's probably about to. Which is gonna be annoying, because then I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do, because I don't have any more... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, this is a problem. Nope. It could be that I'm supposed to use a spear for this. Whilst those two over there look like they're numbers. But this one, this, this isn't a number over here, so I don't know. Because it looks like a one and a three, but I don't think that's what they're actually there for. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. Look at all these arrows to show my attempts. Okay, let me figure out what I'm going to do. Let me try to go a little bit more that way. No. There we go. Uh-oh. That's not going to be on course. And that's going to just go too far. Or not. Because the sledgehammer is weird. I don't know what to do. Yeah, let me try something else. Let me try something else quickly. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try this. Okay, so make sure it's lined up correctly. Probably need to be more centered than I was last time. No, no, no. Please. Okay, this is good. Let's hit that. Three times, maybe? And then, can I switch my weapon, please? Thank you. Maybe a little bit more of that? No. Okay. This feels like what I'm supposed to do is, like, because the different weapons give it different uh, amounts of energy to send it flying. Okay. One, two, three, Four, 
five, and then quickly, quickly, quickly. Please. Oh, please, yes. Oh, please, yes. Oh, my goodness. I've never done this. I've never gotten this to work. There we go. Oh, my goodness. This is way too difficult for me. I've never got all the chests in the shrine before. Giant ancient core, a giant energy crystal made using lost techno ancient technology. Cores this large are an extremely rare find. A researcher would probably know how to use this. Oh my goodness. That's all the chest in the shrine. I've lost my mind from doing this. I can't believe that I managed to get that to work. Okay. Well, I'm achieving new goals that I've never been able to achieve before, so that's good. Let's leave this shrine and then... Celebrate. Just celebrate, basically. So I'm gonna celebrate with lunch. Oh, I'm not even gonna run at the moment, I'm just feeling too happy with my accomplishment to run. Ah. Oh. There we go. But that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.